hey, everybody, look what we got. King Rune sent over this printer. But what they don't know is that I've never used a filament printer before in my life. And my original plan was take it out of the box, put it all together, set it up, see if I could get it printing. No idea for sure all the steps that would be involved in doing that. And that was my plan. And then maybe if once I knew what I was talking about and actually had some experience with it, then I would uh, do a project with it on the channel. But then two things happened that changed my mind. One was that King Rune contacted me and said that they were running a promotion this month and could I get the printer out as soon as possible. And the second one was I thought maybe it's more interesting if a complete noob uses the printer and tries to make prints with it and let's see what happens. Now you know me, I don't do unboxings, I don't do machine reviews, none of that stuff. So instead, I'm just gonna start using it and see what I discover and see what happens. I'm gonna start with a little bit of constructive criticism for King Room. As I put the printer together, I immediately discovered that there were instructions missing from the manual. For instance, I found a bag with some loose parts in it, a couple of T-nuts and some bolts, and uh, the <laughs> there was no mention of those things in the manual. I've put a lot of stuff together in my life and I know a T-nut when I see one and I realize that they had to be somehow connected to this extrusion. See, if you look down in the back, you see this little support block and uh, sure enough, that support block had to house those T-nuts and it makes the whole part more secure down in here. And then the other problem that happened was this screw nut over here sets the height of the Z carriage. It shows in the manual, you, you can, you're just supposed to turn it with your fingers. There was no way that I was gonna turn that thing with my fingers. So I just got out the biggest screwdriver I happened to have and uh, just used that and was able to do it. Even then it was somewhat finicky because you were kind of guessing as you turned it how much up and down it went. It took a lot of fiddling. And this is what I have said about 3D printing for years. Uh, it's still in its Model T forward phase and what I mean by that is, when you bought a Model T Ford 100 years ago, you better have a toolbox <laughs> behind the back seat. We might not even be in the Model T Ford days, we might be in the horse and buggy days. I think 10 or 20 years from now, they're gonna, we're gonna look at these machines and go, wow, <laughs> wow, were they primitive. But all that said, I got it set up. I even built this little box because the power supply is separate uh, and I wanted to be able to move it all around in a single unit. Uh, and also, I did not like the way the, sp the filament was sitting on the side because it meant that the filament had to take a hard turn to get into the, into the feeder right here. I wanted the filament above the machine. So those are the mods I made right out of the box. And um, I got to printing. Let's see what happened. For a lot of people, the first thing they make when they get a new printer is this boat named Benchy from 3dbenchy.com. And it's a really good test file for 3D printers. You know me. <laughs> I'm not going to make what everybody else makes. I got to make my own character. So instead, I went into Blender and whipped up this little guy. I named him Mr. Two-Face, and I thought he'd make a perfectly reasonable first 3D print. I didn't have a slicer for filament prints, so I downloaded Cura 5 and got it going. Judging by the ports, I'm guessing this printer has network connectivity, but I just used a little micro SD card provided by King Room, and that moved the file neatly from my computer into the printer without any problems. I told the Cura 5 software that I was using this printer and PLA, and the software just provided the standard kind of default settings for this machine and that material, and they seemed to work fine. The print ran fine, ran for about six hours, and I only encountered a few little problems here and there, but I gotta be honest, to my huge surprise, uh, the thing printed without a hitch. There were a few little issues along the way that I had kind of had to babysit the machine. The supports that Cura designed on the sides didn't work at all, and that made a lot of extra filament, so I kept having to pick extra filament off as the thing printed. I don't think the parts were sitting perfectly flat on the print bed, so there's this little bit of business. Here's the final print in the flesh. <laughs> Not too bad. While he was printing, I also printed a little resin buddy for him, and, uh, that, and that print just printed flawlessly. So for a first try at filament printing, I'm gonna rate this as a success. I'm gonna give the machine an A, it gave me no, no difficulties and printed fine. I'm gonna give the documentation a D, and I hope that King Rune will improve that, but otherwise, overall, a success. Hey, if you like this video, watch this video next. I know this wasn't a project video, but it was fun for me to do, and I just wanted to share it with you. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you liked it. I will see you all next week.
Hey everybody, look what we got. King Rune sent us over this KP3S printer. And uh, yeah, 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 what, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say?